Hello, are you ready? I do not know that you are, but maybe you will be. So I played this for just a second to test it. Besides that, I uh, know. Yeah, overwrite that. Over, overwrite it. Oh, computer, Welcome please. Welcome to Bikini Bottom, a normally peaceful undersea sanctuary. Today, it will be transformed into a theater of pure horror, wherein our little yellow friend will play the starring role. Today is the big day. I have devised an ingenious plan to finally steal the Krabby Patty formula. And if Bikini Bottom happens to get demolished in the process, oh well. <laughs> With my brand new Duplicatotron 3000, I'll clone an army of robots that will wreak mayhem and destruction at my command. One last review of the checklist. Let's see. Item number one, is Plankton a genius? Answer, yes! Okay, checklist complete. Throw in the switch! <laughs> Welcome, my perfectly obedient robot army. Hang on, I want to get a photo for my scrap... Oh, hey, hello? What do you think you're doing? Oh, no. But I'm your master! I made you! No! No! Oh, my good China! Another perfect day playing robots and racehorses. Yeah, only I keep getting the racehorses and the robots mixed up. Wouldn't it be great if we had real robots to play with, Patrick? I'd name mine Robo Jr. or Zorlon or maybe Frankie. Yeah, these unreal robots are getting boring. Hey, what if we put the robots in here? Oh, how shellfish of you. <laughs> it's not just any shell. It's my magic wishing shell. That's great, Patrick. So we put the toy robots in here. Okay. Then we say the magic wishing words and shake the magic wishing shell. Okay. Then we go to sleep, and in the morning, we'll have real robots to play with. But Patrick, aren't we going to say the magic wishing words? You already did. So, okay is the magic wishing word? It used to be Alakazama Alabala Wisna Tikitana Fushbar Griddle Bits Von Wiedeschnauzer, but I kept forgetting it. Are you sure this will work? Sure. Last week, I only had one big cookie crumb and I was really hungry. So I put my cookie crumb in the magic wishing shell, then I said the magic wishing word and shook it, and in the morning, I had lots of little cookie crumbs. Patrick, I proclaim that tomorrow is going to be the best day ever. Good night, SpongeBob. Good night, Patrick. The next morning. <laughs> gonna play with robots, gonna play with robots, gonna play with robots, gonna play with... Wow! Uh, Gary, did you do that? All right, so I streamed this a couple years yeah, ago. It sure looks like the original a doozy of a pickle. And we're gonna I think stream I'm gonna have this to one. Learn a lot in order to fix this mess. Meow. What a fantastic idea! These signs will provide important tips to help me out. Um, how do I read the signs? Meow. Oh, okay. Press this button to read the signs. Hmm. Meow. So if I want to come back and talk to you again, just walk up to you and press this button. I'd better get started now, Gary. I think that this is going to be a very long day. Or well, the kitchen, the bedroom, the attic, the closet. So, you know, I really enjoy the original. Unfortunately, my stream of the original is less than amazing. Breaking news! 
Bikini Bottom residents have been attacked by a raging torrent of robot horror. But of course I would say that. So much for fixing this quietly. <laughs> Authorities are not sure who is responsible for unleashing the mechanical menaces, but they have assured us that the person is in big, big trouble. Uh-oh. Did I say big trouble? I meant so enormous that it's hard to comprehend trouble. We'll keep you posted as this tragic story unfolds. Tragically, we're sure. Unfortunately, I got an alt tab to get my little window pulled up. Because the mouse controls the camera like like so. So first impressions are pretty good. Plays pretty close. The animations are you know pretty fluid. Uh, got that. Got that. I make myself a snack. But a note from Mr. Krabs. <sighs> and it even smells sweaty just like him. Ahoy there, SpongeBob. As a faithful oh. crew member of the Krusty Krab, you've been er uh, promoted to head shiny object collector. Ahoy, SpongeBob! I came to record me lines for the video game, but I asked for too much money, so they replaced me with Clancy Green. Ag -ag -ag -ag. Wow! A promotion! That's right, a promotion! So what this here new job entails is you collecting all these shiny objects that the robots are leaving behind and bringing them to me. Now stop seahorsing around and get busy collecting. Yeah, that's one thing that I'm kind of disappointed about with this is that they had the perfect opportunity to uh, re-record the lines with actual Clancy Brown, but they didn't bother for some reason. I mean, I understand why uh, Ernest Borgnine wouldn't have exactly been available, but... I make myself a snack. In fact... No in fact, that's kind of one of my biggest complaints with this game. Okay, that was kind of loud. Is that... I don't know. It seems like they had an almost slavish devotion to recreating the original experience. To the point where I feel like they chose not to make improvements where they would have been very welcome. Also, uh, there's the drifter. That's a, that's a new thing. SpongeBob will lose a pair of underwear every time he gets hit by a robot or touches dangerous objects or surfaces. Like this. Once Spongebob has lost all his underwear, he must start that area over again. Spongebob may get back underwear he has lost by collecting additional pairs along the way. Spongebob starts out wearing three pairs of underwear, but there are special pairs of golden underwear hidden in Bikini Bottom, which, if found, will allow Spongebob to wear more than three pairs at a time. Spongebob can check how many pairs of underwear he has on by pressing right trigger. Could be worse, could have strayed too far from the original. Yeah, that's true. I guess I prefer I this fun. over that. Though also, they said that they were going to this like reinstate. Comic books. They were going to reinstate cut content. This is where but I they. Keep all my old comic books. I, I know you already said that. Presents. But uh, they ended up only putting it in the multiplayer mode, which I, I think is massively disappointing. Personally, I would have made it like a post-game thing because I understand why they want this to play like the original But I don't know I felt like the multiplayer. I just did not care. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry. I Mean I will be checking it out, but I just really did not care about the multiplayer. But anyway the the colors are a lot more saturated in this, which, I mean, mostly looks good, but is has been a point of contention, though it varies from area to area. 
Okay, now let me push the ball and push the button. Gotta get that uh, sock that we uh, don't know what it does yet. Okay, I do like, though, that they don't make you stand in place for that. Like, that you can just go ahead and walk in. That's good. Uh, there's nothing oh, a like little bit of frame drop. Go away, SpongeBob. You're polluting my thinking space. I do like what they've done with the animations, though. Like... But the original game had very limited talking animations. So I'm kind of glad to see them add some more now that they have more space to do so. Trying to steal the Krabby Patty formula again, eh, Plankton? Well, you won't get away with it. I've got bigger fish to fry. I've got to figure out how to regain control of the chum bucket from those robots. Where did they come from? Where? Um, I don't know. Not for me, though, that's for sure. They just showed up out of nowhere and started calling me rude names and throwing things. They even bent all my spoons. I love those spoons like they were my children. That's terrible. Oh, won't you help me stop them? Before they bent all my forks? Not the forks! Of course I'll help. But wait, I'm supposed to collect a whole lot of golden spatulas. Golden spatulas, eh? SpongeBob, if you can get me back into the chum bucket, I'll give you a bucket full of golden spatulas. In your dreams. You've got a deal. Okay, so I gotta say, I, I like what they did with the hub world. You got much more of like a Mario Sunshine thing going on. And it much better represents what the level actually looks like. SpongeBob, this flapping robot crisis is making the Krusty Krab lose money like a sinking ship. No money means no more Krusty Krab. No more Krusty Krab means no more fry cooking for you. <laughs> No more fry cooking? But because you're gullible, I'm gonna help you out. And of course make a small profit in return. I've got a few golden spatulas that I'll be willing to trade to you for some of those shiny objects. Alright, thank you, Mr. K. Sometimes pushing a simple button is the most satisfying. Push, 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 push. Okay, uh, something I'm discovering just now is that there is a dedicated tiptoe button in this. Now I can wear four pairs of underwear. This is great. Fresh like a spring breeze. You know, maybe if voice modding is easy enough, you could redo all the crabs lines. <laughs> but where am I going to get Clancy Brown from? Unless you just mean, like, YouTube pooping it all together. Hey, SpongeBob, I just dropped by to give you a bubble hand. Bubble buddy. You see, you're going to need to learn some new bubble blowing moves if you're going to journey to the ninth dimension and defeat the giant monkey man. But, uh, all I need to do is figure out how to get rid of these robots. <laughs> I do the voices, okay. Oh, yeah, sorry. I've been in the soap bottle a little too long. Uh, where were we? Uh, something about new bubble moves. Right! Press this button and you'll launch yourself straight up in the air with bubble power that defeats anything that is directly above you. Try it out! Were there, were there the shrinking tiki's here originally? I don't remember there being them here. 
Yeah, I generally like what they've done with the animations, though, which is good because when they first showed it off, it looked very stiff. Patrick smiles a little too wide, if you ask hey, me. Hey, Patrick. Nice sock. What sock? The one you're standing on. Oh, that one. It's lost. Well, if that one's lost, where are your other socks? Well, they're more lost. A bunch of robots came through here and stole my whole sock collection. I could use some help getting them back. Sure thing, Patrick. What are best friends for? Okay, then. For every ten socks you bring back to me, I'll give you a golden turkey baster. You mean spatula? Bless you. Okay, I need to uh, move my little window right quick. I can wave SpongeBob's hand, though. Needs to do laundry. Living under a rock. Now that's the life. Another find for Patrick. Too pretty. Cat, take it. So, I have this on my solid state drive. So hopefully, loading times won't be too long. Those stupid robots ruined a perfectly relaxing mud bath this morning, and now you show up. Can my day get any more dreary? I am so sorry, Squidward. Patrick and I were just playing a game and... Oh, I correct myself. I should have known that whole robot problem involved both of you. Squidward, I don't know what to do. How can I fix everything? There was unsure. Why don't you move to another town? There it is. That should help out more than enough. <laughs> move to another town. I, I cracked me up. <laughs> but seriously, just jump around like an idiot. That should at least make me smile. <laughs> I didn't know Squidward had a lamp. Some of these voice lines do seem new, though. I don't know who okay, that okay, is. Okay, okay, just oh. stop jumping, will you? If you take this golden spatula, will you please go away? See, Squidward, I knew that you could. <laughs> well, that didn't out. take nearly You're as long best. as normal. Don't touch me. I honestly think you should patch it to make long to take longer. I didn't know Squidward had a lamp. Here's a. Uh, you all know what that is. Okay, that is way easier to get in this version. In the original, like, you can just barely, like, not make it on top of here. Had to do it. Now, my question is, <clears throat> can you still do this? No. <clears throat> so there's a glitch in the original game where you can go through the, like, you can go through the taxi area while Hans is carrying you, but it doesn't work in this one. I didn't really think it would, but I wanted to give it a try. of jellyfish fields, a place to experience nature at its most raw, and sometimes a bit tender from the stings. Are you okay? No, I'm not okay, you barnacle head. Do I look like I'm okay? Well, your nose does look pretty big. I mean, bigger than usual because it's usually pretty big. And you look clammy. And oh my gosh, you're bald! I've always been bald, but now I'm stung all over. 
that that meme reference there the rep movie reference was a little forced feeling i'm not gonna lie to you well according to the jellyfisher field manual severe jellyfish stings can be treated effectively by applying a thick layer of king jellyfish jelly to the affected areas <laughs> king j -j -j jellyfish well, I guess you're off to scale Spork Mountain and die a horrible death under the vicious tentacles of King Jellyfish. <laughs> I'll stay here, balled up here in excruciating pain. Oh, okay, I didn't mean to skip that. But he, ba he basically says, yeah, you do that, Squidward. I'll get you the jelly for you to rub on yourself. I don't know why it skipped it. Anyway, the game begins. For real. I love opening presents. The eponymous jellyfish for the fields. We can't jellyfish today. I'm going fishing for robots. I feel like a new sponge. Hmm. So right trigger shows the HUD. Oh uh, no! Wait, never mind. I had a concern, but I I'm less concerned now. But yeah, if you hold left trigger, you know SpongeBob will automatically tiptoe, which will be helpful for later in the game. In general, I feel like attacking feels a lot faster in this, which, you know, I'm all right with. Is there like a quick center? Quick camera center? If there is, I haven't found it yet. Hmm, not that I can see. Yeah, so... A lot of people, including myself, thought that they kind of oversaturated this area a little bit. <laughs> just a little bit. I mean, it looks good. I just, I don't know. I don't know. Oh, I don't think I can get that one up there. I think I goofed. Yeah, it's mainly the purple. I feel like the grass is not too bad. Can I, can I, like, bypass this? Nope. Hmm. I'm not a huge fan of how you have to reload when you die, but, but, like, luckily, it doesn't take very long. Oh, no, we're almost at the number. Oh, no! I mean, generally, it looks good, though. I, I am going to be talking about how I feel like it compares to the original. I mean, that's just inevitable. Was there always a heart rate with beeping when you fall? I don't know about when you fall, but there was when you died from an enemy, I, I think. In the prototype of this game, specifically the remake, not Battle for Bikini Bottom in general, uh, they had like a robot laugh when you died. Also, in the original game, and I mentioned this during the SpongeBob movie game playthrough, uh, these trees were textured with uh, poop, poop texture. L literal picture of feces. Just my side. Heavy iron was on something, I tell you. So yeah, hopefully this stream will be go a bit smoother than my stream of the original game, which I think it will. I have no reason to assume otherwise. 
It's a shame though, because I, I do I do like Battle for Bikini Bottom, so I feel kind of bad that I couldn't give couldn't give it its fair due the first time. But oh well. I mean, there's a randomizer for the original game, so chances are I could probably restream it using that at some point make for a fresh experience. I mean, there should just be a randomizer for any game that exists, if you ask me. How's it performing? Well, do you mean like in terms of being a good remake or like actual performance? Do I like it so far? Yeah, I think I do. It feels pretty good. How's it taste? I don't know, I haven't... I bought it digital, so I can't lick it. Actual performance for the first question. It's performing pretty good. Like, there's some frame dropping at the beginning of areas sometimes, but otherwise it's been pretty stable. Let's see, is my computer getting warm at all? Hmm, mm, a tiny bit, but not really. Hey, you. Patrick needs to do laundry. I'm not sure what frame rate it's running at. Let me see. I can, uh, I can check that out real quick. Okay, it's running at 60 frames. Which is good and mostly expected. Yeah, I saw Shift, a prominent Battle for Bikini Bottom speedrunner, mention how the mention how the scripted jumps feel more scripted than they originally did, which I guess is kind of true. Also, shoutouts to that guy. They brought him. They brought him in to tweak this game, specifically the camera. Does it feel good in the hand, like control-wise? Yeah, I'd say it does. Hey, Gary, what's taking? Like it's like SpongeBob feels a tiny bit heavier than he did in the original game, but not by much. Okay, time for the bungee. Extreme sports! Okay, got it. But yeah, I'll, I'll keep critiquing the game as I find things to mention, but... You don't dislike the way this area looks as much as you used to. Yeah, it looks... I think it looks pretty good except for the purple being a little oversaturated. If, if you, they desaturated the purple, then I, I, would, I don't th think I'd have much to complain about. Oh, there was an unpleasant orangeness to it before. If anything gets too saturated, you can just adjust it on stream, right? Yeah, but, I mean, this is how the game looks. I, I don't want to lie to you. You are seeing it as I see it. And yeah, I think before they had it kind of... They had jellyfish fields at sort of a almost sunset but I think they might have undid that might have undone might have done the do compression artifacts 
Well, I mean, there's only so much I can do about that one. Like, I, I'm not the magical bitrate man. Ugh. I mean, I have improved my bitrate with this new computer. <laughs> But there's still only so much I can do. We can't do anything with that yet, of course. Hey, I was good. <laughs> oh boy. Why is that a loading screen? I don't know, not a big fan of that. I mean, I think they respawn the enemies in this version, whereas I don't think they did in the original. So that could be why. There is something down here, though. Where is it? Hmm? There... Hmm? I'll... I guess maybe I'll come back to that. <laughs> but I swear, I thought... Did I grab a sock? Was there a sock down there that I grabbed? I'm losing my mind. That's for underwear, which I'm not currently in a big need for. Hmm. I noticed that you can do this out of a jump. Were you always able to do that? I mean, I think you get the same amount of height as you would have otherwise, but... That feels like... That feels like it's different. Dying is not preferred. Okay, now for now for this now for this little mission. You can do this. That's a fun thing to be able to do. Let's see how this looks. Okay, so there's no animation for this at the moment. Which, I mean, it's quicker, but I also don't know if I like that. All in all, it seems like they've done a bit to cut down on waiting around for stuff. Like, you don't have to wait for the spatula disappearing animation anymore. Hey, man. I have all your comics and toys and mail. Uh, huh? W what? Oh, yeah, it's that sponge kid. And now, what was I supposed to tell you? That Patrick is surrounded by robots and needs my help. I don't know if I like this Mermaid Man model. Huh? Oh, no. I mean, it looks I fine from the front. Something to do with massaging my feet. Massaging. Well, if massaging your feet will save Patrick, then massage I must. Help! They're making me hit myself. 
Massaging your feet isn't working. I think I'd better try a more direct approach. By clipping my toenails? Here I come, Patrick! Okay, slide time. Opening presents. That was a ton of fun. I should do it again sometime. Hey, you. Patrick needs to do laundry. Time for the fight. And yeah, it the combat feels like they it feels like they made it a lot quicker than they did in the original game. Which I don't mind really. Now, back before this game was announced, I remember somebody talking about trying to make a fan remake. And one thing I liked about that one is that they added, like, extra drum beats for when you're fighting enemies. Kinda wish that was in this one. I mean, but I guess if it ain't broke, don't no fix it. I'm half disappointed that the robots actually explode with explosion noises and not just poot noises. <laughs> oh yeah, I didn't even notice that. <laughs> yeah, that's the most disappointing change too. Hey, that to me now too. Whew. Thank goodness you're safe, Patrick. Well, of course, SpongeBob. Why wouldn't I be? Well, the robots and the. Oh, yeah, I found this for you. I don't know what it is, but it looks important. Thanks, Patrick. I tell you what, all that running around has left me pooped. Why don't you continue on for a bit? Okay. Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. Okay. Patrick time. He finds it and then he picks it back up himself. Yeah, I always thought that was pretty silly. Oh wow, this animation. The presence, the impact. Well, crap. Okay, so, interesting change. Patrick does a sort of, you know, traditional ground pound if you ground pound during a single jump, and only does the belly flop if you do it during a double jump. Kind of a weird change, but I can dig it. So bright. So I kind of miss the hand target indicators. Yeah, it's it's. I feel like it's little things that have suffered the most with you know things like that. Oh, but I like how this guy looks. Oh, <laughs> right as I compliment him. Uh oh, this one goes boom.
And that one, yeah, that sends you back up here. I feel like that should probably be a clip. <laughs> if I may say so myself. Watch where you're going! The rock is talking to me. Almighty oh, Rock, I am at your command! Down here, you big pink lummox! Oh, hi there, Mr. Plankton. Are you going to vaporize me today? So very tempting. Unfortunately, I found myself in the undesirable position of having to assist you. I was in an undesirable position yesterday, and now my neck hurts. Heed my words, my large future minion. Go into Jellyfish Cave. Follow the instructions on the signs that you see. At the end Fowler. of the caves, you'll still be a big pink idiot, but you'll know enough to help defeat the robots and get me back into the chum bucket. Well, then will you vaporize me? I might spare your life so I can force you to work in my sweatshop, making low-quality design and knock-off wallets. Oh, thank you! Okay, onward we go, as far away as possible from the dabbing fish. I think I like what they did with this cave. This cave meets my expectations. It's so weird to see this game get remade, to be honest. Dude, I know, totally. Also, hey. I, I did not expect this game to ever exist. But, exist it does. This and DuckTales are the only two licensed games I know to get remakes. <laughs> Your internet cut out just as you were clipping. Oh well, no, n no real need to do it right now. You can just wait. Just look for Miles saying perfect timing. SpongeBob came out around the same time that I stopped watching TV as a kid. It's a shame, too, because it turned out to be a really good show. Yeah, I feel like, you know... I've seen a few people say that, but ultimately, I guess... It's a bit silly, in my opinion, to restrict yourself just because you're not in a demographic or something. Because I, I think if something is good, it's just good, you know? Like, I don't think you have to be a kid to enjoy Spongebob and, you know, that kind of stuff. I said, just, just enjoy what you want, you know? Have fun with life. I didn't have that problem, though. I'm a wee bit younger than some of y'all, so... I think I was a kid at just the perfect time to watch it. And yes, I did actually grow up playing this game. Had a lot of fun with it. But I think it holds up well enough. Like, even as an adult. Now, I've said this a few places lately, but there's an Ed and Eddie game I used to love. The Miss Adventures. And I went back to that recently to ch just to check it out for a minute. Oh, that game plays like hot garbage, dude. I, I was not a fan. Carry a lot of stuff around. This though, I think holds up. I mean, it's not gonna, it's not gonna wow you in an age of Mario Odyssey, Mario Odysseys, and like Sonic Generations and all that. But I think if you just so it kind of, if you just kind of see it as what it is, which is, you know, a decent, a decent like, was it six generation platformer? Then I think you'll have fun. Like, expect more, uh, Ty the Tasmanian Tiger than Super Mario Sunshine, and I think you'll 
be a lot less set up for disappointment. Hey, this is mine. Hey, Patrick's not slipping around. I, I want my money back. Oh, there he is. Okay, maybe that th maybe that one over there is just bugged. Yeah, I will say, they did they did make the combat in the remake feel pretty good. Like it, it has a lot of impact. It's it's nice and quick. I gotta say, I'm I'm a fan. <laughs> oh, that laugh! That laugh is the one that would play when you uh, got a game over in the prototype of this. Now, in the original, I think you can just bypass this whole uh, melon thing. Oh, right, you can throw the robots. I just remember. I just remembered. I don't know why that didn't occur to me. It's like it's like it being a remake. It's like it being a remake kind of threw off my muscle memory or something. But it's not working out so great. Okay, I might actually die. I died. <laughs> it, it that feels a little bit more precise. So here's what the pause menu looks like now. Okay, let's try that again. Probably want to do the actual slam. Oh. <laughs> They're getting too close to me, so... They just spawn. Yeah, they kind of do. Was it like that in the original? I, I don't know, this game is making me second-guess myself. Either way, though, there's always a chance that this game will get patched down the line. It already got like a day one patch to fix some issues. Squidward tells me you're looking for the king jellyfish. So chances are, you know, some things might be, get fixed after these streams. Yes. Good thing too. That monster has been stinging all my good customers in their poop decks. I hear that you can find him up top of Old Sport Mountain here. Go hook that beast, sailor. Oh boy, Mr. Krabs. I'll see what I can do. Ooh, wooden crab. Tartar. Yeah, still got them, still got them enemy cutscenes. Oh. Oh, this one goes boom. I don't think SpongeBob's underwear fits quite right. <laughs> it went boom. Yeah, I felt like there are some voice clips that I don't remember hearing. But then again, I played the GameCube version, which had a little bit less disk space than the Xbox and PS2 ones. Oh, I should have thrown them at the, the T. Hello, Mrs. Puff. Hello, Patrick. I've got a job for you to do. Oh, boy. I found a golden spatula, but those robots out on the island stole it and threw it into the lake. If you can figure out how to get it back, you're welcome to it. Sure enough, Mrs. Puff. Yeah, I think what I was doing before is, uh... 
I wasn't doing the body slam, which I think has a higher radius. Yeah, I mean, they're straight up voice clips. They're straight up voice clips that I've never heard. I don't think SpongeBob's underwear fits quite right. Nope, nope, nope. Um, oh, I missed one. Got it. Doing good, doing good. Okay, Patrick doesn't have the uh, tiptoe option. much better like a so it shines i love opening <laughs> yeah the remake makes dealing with those a whole lot easier You've just met the Spongeinator. Yeah, the the voice clip frequency might be a little too high, just a little bit. Like, decrease it by ten percent, and I think you'll be good. Yeah, you need the, uh, you need the cruise bubble for that. We're coming back later for that one. Fresh like a spring breeze. I feel like a new sponge. Yeah, <laughs> I guess it's goo. Maybe it's brine water. Yes, get a mini, get a mini shiny object. To the old grind. <laughs> it looks like Wind Waker, the layout brings Outset Island to mind. <laughs> Been a lot of linking of SpongeBob and Zelda lately on these streams. Partially my fault. I apologize for nothing. 
Uh. Okay, that that feels a little bit trickier. Yeah, I haven't. I actually haven't played Wind Waker all the way through myself. There's, I've been weirdly bad about not finishing Zeldas prior to streaming them. Yeah, something's a little wacky. Let's see, let's see if I can get over there like this. Not really. I don't even remember if there's anything over there. Climb on this? No. That's some frames. <laughs> yeah, I think these platforms may be slightly broken. <laughs> uh, purple lamp, if you could, uh, <laughs> If you could please do something about that, that would be very much appreciated. Luckily, I, I don't think there's anything over here worth giving a fuss about. <laughs> Purple Those lamp, please fix. Please, that would be appreciated. Fresh like a spring breeze. There's a fish in the water. Yep, that there is. Yep. <laughs> yep. Goodbye. I feel the like a end. Sponge. I forget, what do you need Patrick here for? Oh no. Form, it looks a little pre tipped.
Okay, let's jump. <laughs> okay, they made that really fast. Don't do it. Better not do it. Bubble Buddy! Gosh, everyone is trying to help out today. Step quietly there. That king jellyfish is just up at the top of this path. Good luck. You'll need it. Thanks, Bubble Buddy. I don't like how white Bubble Buddy looks. I knew the King Jellyfish was big, but who knew he had such a beautiful voice? Slap him. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, you gotta, you gotta be. Be quick about that. Slap him again. I mean, that was my plan. Finishing slap. Finish him. Okay, got an achievement for that jellyfish jam. Get the jelly. Okay, open the box, please. Thank you. Okay, sliding time has come again. Ooh. Oh, this is reverse. <laughs> that is reverse. That was some jank. Well, to be fair, it was it was like that in the original. Oh, shortcut. <laughs> Okay, another achievement. Oh, the r double Hans. Is that what was jank? I didn't even see double Hans. I'll have to go back and look at that. Yeah, there's a sock here that I want to grab. Really glad to have this back. 
I, I legitimately have no idea where you're actually supposed to enter that spot from. See, no problem. You can do anything you set your mind and your muscle to. Oh, yeah. Oh, that feels so much better. Anything for my best friend Squidward. Can I rub some on? Um, what if I just gave you this? This game is a relic of something they don't really make that much of anymore. Yep, it's true. Downtown Bikini Bottom. Once a bustling metropolis. Now a debris covered crater. SpongeBob, the robots are destroying downtown Bikini Bottom. We have to evacuate! All right, but it's gonna take a while to get all this dust. Not vacuum, evacuate. We have to get everyone to safety. Can we just load them up in the boats? That won't do any good. Why not? Because the robots have taken all the steering wheels. Couldn't we just drive in a straight line? No, there are too many turns. Those fiends, they thought of everything. Never fear, Mrs. Pop. I'll get those steering wheels back. SpongeBob, if you're involved, I always fear. But I tell you what, if you can pull this off, I'll give you a golden spatula. I'll give you a golden spatula. How about a driver's license instead? Nice try. Yeah, you can just go up there and grab that one, no problem. Yep, in due time you will get the line. Up for a game of SpongeBob? Come on, you can do it. <laughs> Maybe you I can't do it. Sponge. Okay, well that worked at least. I love opening presents. Yeah, there were a lot of, like, Mario 64 copycats for a while there. But, hey, some of them were pretty good. Like, it's easy to forget that uh, Banjo-Kazooie was kind of aping on Mario 64 a little bit. Fresh, yeah, like a spring breeze. I'd say at the end of the day, it, it feels a bit more like Banjo Kazooie than it does Mario 64, but. Another but you know, just all the. All the collecting. Collecting game.
get the thing game. I mean, you could also get them by going up here. I was gonna see if I could, like, do a sequence break, but it doesn't look like I can. Oh well. Okay, new robot. Oh yeah, this was the exact part of the level where a speedrunner came into my chat. I wonder what he's doing these days. supposed to be up here. I'm definitely not supposed to be up here. Yeah, Sandy can let wait, did this lasso? I, I thought they made a typo, but no, it's correct. Those guys got a little bit of a, a rework, I think. Three years running. Thank you. Ah, uh, yes, the line. He said the line. Bart, say the line. Bikini bottom, bottom scavenger hunt. Yeah! Is your health underpants? Yes. shortcuts by using these which is good I'm glad to have a shortcut of some kind I also do not believe that I'm supposed to be up here See, this is a place that I feel like I am very much not supposed to be. Luckily, I can't do very much with that, but... Okay, that Tiki was freaking out for a second there. Yeah, that feels very scripted in this version. I love opening presents. I mean, I don't mind too much because I kind of didn't want to have to actually do it, but... Oh, I wasn't able to get on top. I feel like a new sponge. I was hoping to get on top, to get the shiny objects. Yeah, that, that didn't look very good.
this door is locked from the inside. Who would do such a thing? Who would do this? Who would lock their Boy, doors? Will be glad to have this back. I can't believe we live in a world where people lock their doors. Yeah, you can get that you getting that up there real real easy like. We'll we'll go to that last. I know what I know what's in there. And it's not something you gotta do right now. Hi, Gary! Meow. Yes, thanks for noticing. I have been working out. Not done? Doesn't that mean... Meow. Oh, that's the entrance to the rooftops which leads to the lighthouse? Aha! Uh -huh. There's another golden spatula. I could really use that. Meow. What do you mean get Sandy to help me? <sighs> I can get through this. Meow. Meow. Oh, that gap looks big. Okay, I'm definitely not making that jump. How is anyone going to get across there? Uh-oh, more robots. Holy Dutchman's ghost! That gap looks impossible! And impassable! Okay, okay, I'll go get Sandy to help me out. So we played as Patrick, and now it is time to play as the squirrel. The squirrel. Pow. <laughs> that brief moment before the controls adjust to where the camera is, a little weird. <laughs> I feel like there's some secret areas that weren't in the original game that are in this. You can lasso in midair now. That's a that's a big change we noticed when they were showing this game off. The shinier, the better. That's good. It's good. I like it. Sandy cannot become Squirrel Ball. This it's just not a thing that happens. The sponge ball, his feet are dangling. Whoop. Swooping. Swooping and shooping. Let's go all the way around. Oh. You want to run that by me again? You have to hold it down this time. Come on, give me the license game stand on everything collision. Duck squirrel. Yeah, I need to figure out how the lassoing works.
I don't know if it's different or if it just weirded out on me. Okay, I guess you're supposed to hold it. Yeah. In the original game, didn't you just uh, press it? That's weird. Those physics seem abusable. Okay, now I'm gonna enter here and then go back because I need to get some. Hey, Larry, what's shaking? Sandy, boy, am I glad to see you. I need your help. My TV reception has been terrible lately. I need to have someone replace my old antenna with this shiny new one. Yes, sir. That there antenna is shinier than a $3 bill. Well, why don't you replace it yourself? I'm not really much of a jumper. So, what's jumping got to do with it? Because the old antenna is up there. Woo! That's taller than a glass of Texas iced tea. The robots have blocked off that building, and I can't do all those fancy moves you and SpongeBob do to get across these gaps. All I can do is flex! Wanna see? Yeah, great. Uh, so what are you gonna do with the old antenna? Oh, that? It's yours if you replace it with a new one. Well, I have been getting bad TV reception in the tree dome. Okay, Larry, you got a deal. Okay, so let's go back. Because there was one of those wheels on the roof. It takes a second for, like, the lighting to calculate. A little bit weird. Just a wee bit. Maybe I can get back, I don't know. Yep, okay, I can get back. I got back! There was no problem to be had. Please replace my antenna at the far end of these rooftops. <laughs> yeah, that wasn't working. But wouldn't it have been funny if it did? Yeah, like, okay, I don't remember being able to go on top of this before, but there's a sock on it. Yeah, I don't feel like you could do this in the original game. I, I don't know, I'm, I, I can't be sure anymore. Maybe they changed a few socks around. Could be. Someone better make good use of all these. Could be. That's for messing with Texas. Feeling refreshed. God, being able to lasso in midair just makes some of these encounters like such non-issues compared to the original. Underwear. 
best stars in Mario 64 DS were from getting Patrick's socks. Well, remember, we still gotta find all the uh, sea rabbits in order to unlock Patrick's casino. Tipped too far. Yeah, I feel like you could easily use this momentum to cheese the game. Yeah, like that. That clip right there. I never heard that before this remake. Oh, the tiki's are sabotaging me. Oh, oh God. <laughs> My overconfidence was a slow and insidious killer. Maybe unused lines from the original? Could be. I, I would like to look into that at some point. Or like I said, it's possible they could be in the uh, Xbox version because the movie game had a couple clips that I didn't hear in the uh, GameCube version. Why was that special and not in a bubble? I don't know. How do I get that? Well, I'll stand on Patrick's shorts that are for some reason out here. Oh. <laughs> he was coming for me. I guess you're supposed to go up here and hover over. But my idea is more fun. Uh oh. It says I was signed out of friends and chat. I hope that doesn't mean my stream is down. Doesn't look like it is. Thank you, Steam. Thank you for that one. Yeah, it was because the window wasn't in focus. Everything else seems like it's fine, though. Get a, a kelp shake. Feeling refreshed. Okay, gotta get that wheel. Gotta get the wheel. Give me the wheel.
The problem with these kind of games that are very cheesable is that sometimes it's hard to know for sure if you're going the right way. <laughs> because it's like, do they expect me to cheese the platforming? Is it even cheese in the first place? I don't know. Perhaps man was never meant to know. <laughs> just, just hang in the air. It's fine. The longest slide in the entire game. Now wait, where was the where was the sock? That I needed to get. Was it down there? I think it was down here. Yeah. Yeah, right, right here. Well, I suppose it'll make Patrick happy. Got an achievement for that. Sock getter. Well, it's not the most <laughs> imaginative achievement name I've ever heard, but it'll do. box is open. Be ready kids, set, go! Okay, that just didn't have an animation. Purple lamp, please fix. Just met the Spongenator. Yeah, I, I'm not gonna lie to you, that looks really bad. Also, I have gotten Spongebob stuck underneath this light. Not, not too happy about that, <laughs> I'll say that much. I mean, it's not a huge deal, but, uh, mirror. Not good, not good. All in all, this room, I, I'm not impressed. Well, uh, McPatch, work on it. <laughs> I feel like a new sponge. Like a spring breeze. Oh, no, dang it, not again. Yeah, okay, please fix light. Please fix light.
Okay, so now we need to go to the Sea Needle. Roll, roll, roll the sponge. Well, Langton, I'm sorry you're having a bad time. the sea needle that's horrible the sea needle is the cradle of crochet corner yes yes it is but what's more important is that there are tiki's and shiny objects just outside the windows mr. Krabs how can you think of money at a time like this easy it's easy just clear I just mind. clear my mind money 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 now listen, now listen here me. boy you know that I'll give you golden spatulas if you bring me shiny objects but I'm going to sweeten the deal if you can break all the tiki's here at the Sea Needle, I'll give you a bonus golden spatula. Why would I want to break the tiki's, Mr. Krabs? Uh, because they were laughing at you and calling you funny names. What kind of funny names? That's not very funny. <laughs> it did that thing again. Uh, no. But they said your mom was ugly. Which is a shame because he says SpongeBob butt pants, and I think that's just incredible. Ugly! All right, Mr. Krabs, break to my cell. You've got a deal. <sighs> I'm yawning up a storm. Wow! Everyone looks like ant fish from up here. Oh, sparkly! <laughs> <laughs> Something feels slightly weird about the bungee jumping, but I can't put my finger on it. Okay, subtly modeled butt. Thank you for that. Yeah, it feels like the bungee jumping could use a little bit of tweaking, but I'm not precisely sure how. the original was more lenient with the diving and uh, it's making this part a little tricky Wow everyone looks like ant fish from up here Fresh like a spring breeze. <sighs> I'm, gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna sleep. I'm gonna sleep right here, right now. Actually, I think Twitch will ban you if you do that. I mean, not that it was really in my plans, but I think something weird just happened with that Tiki there. Yeah, the bungee feels slightly not as good. Beg you. You need the tiki. There we go.
Okay, SpongeBob doesn't have his air move yet, so I just gotta avoid. But luckily the remake tells me where, where they're gonna be. So I can avoid them in due time. Like I said, hopefully there ends up being a patch to fix some issues. Because, I mean, m I'm mostly like this. But there are some problems. I mean, as long as I detonated it, <laughs> uh, if, if I broke it one way or another, works for me. Oh, hey, I managed to graze that one and not take damage. That's good. Um. Uh. Okay. Stone Tiki was just kind of levitating on its own for a minute there. Yeah, because I feel like in the original, if you pressed it at the very bottom, you would get, like, an extra boost that just doesn't seem to be happening here. It's, it's really messing with me. Come on, hit it, hit it, hit it! And getting, yeah, getting the bottom tikis is kind of unnecessarily difficult. But I'm, I'm kind of struggling with this. Ah, my leg, my leg's cramping. Ah. <laughs> I, I pressed it way too early. No, I didn't. <laughs> No, I didn't. Okay, I got it. And like in the original game, I assume that there's one you have to come back Good for. Good work, boy. Here's the golden spatula, like I promised. Okay, now to visit Mrs. Puff. Give her the wheels. Yeah, it just it just outright says come back with the cruise bubble. It's not like hmm maybe you can get the it's come come back when you have this move. SpongeBob, <laughs> I'm impressed. How did you fight? Okay, that cut off. Well, there were these robots. I met Sandy, and the lighthouse was. Okay, okay. Sorry, I asked. Here's the golden spatula that I promised you. Thanks, Mrs. Puff. Now I'll help you guys evacuate. But SpongeBob, you don't have a driver's license. Oh, don't I? No, no you don't. Well, if I don't, then what's this? <laughs> that I appreciate, though. Like, the, the little touches like that, however, just, like, almost make up for it. A library card. Oh... Okay, so there's a little bit of time, I but I don't really want to do Goo Lagoon yet. So how I might fight go ahead and fight robot Sandy. I mean if you ask me I feel like they didn't have time to do all the stuff they wanted to well, do. SpongeBob, you found some. And I have a feeling some of this stuff will be probably fixed in a patch. Now they're back home, safe where they belong. Here's your golden back scratcher. Spatula. I don't speak Italian. Like from what I heard, they were changing stuff about the game basically right before release. And there was a day one patch, 
So I have a feeling that there's still some tweaks. That's quality craftsmanship, that is. Come again. So that's quality. Your treasure chest. Your chest looking, looking a bit light, boy. boy. You think you I got bilge water on the brain? brain? I, I ain't running a charity you. here. Come, Come back, back when you've got 9,000 shiny objects to trade. Yeah, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and finish this off by fighting Sandy, Robot Sandy, ahead of time. And then we'll do Goolagoon next time with the cruise bubble. I have brought you to here to face a great challenge. I've got nerves of steel and muscles of sand. And eyes of jelly. My Poseidon has been bleached by a mighty foe whom you must vanquish. Bring it on, your highness. Bring it on. In this corner, defending the Poseidon, a small square guy. To me, or did it go, did it get quieter all of a sudden? Like a spring breeze. Yeah, it absolutely did. SpongeBob has an opening, but will he get the drop on the robot? Great Barrier Reef! Looks like the robot and they made, left itself vulnerable. They made now Sandy the robot, robot Sandy a lot faster. Yeah, like the first phase went by like that. The first phase was like done in no time. Patrick's just getting too close to that metal Why is monster. It SpongeBob's underwear fits quite right. Spring the old clothesline. Clothesline move. move. Looks like Patrick has a big opportunity here. Okay, that was a little awkward. What a shocking takedown by Patrick. Patrick has a big opportunity here. Oh, nice flying uh, head thing move by Patrick. Yeah, they, they made Robot Sandy a lot more aggressive in the remake. She's moving way faster than in the original. The robot's losing its head. Wow, I've never seen such an electrifying oh, match. No, Your turn, SpongeBob. They didn't even wait for the fish to stop talking. Spring the old clothesline move. is just about over. Yeah, you want to use the double jump there, probably. That robot is down and staying down. What an upset here at the Poseidon. 
the uh, achievement I just got, Sweet Victory. That was quite a battle. Tell him what he's won, Johnny. It's a new power, the Bubble Bowl. But wait, there's more. A golden spatula, and that's not all. A gift certificate for $5.32 to Dean's Little Shop of Dried Fish Flakes and Flowers. Oh, thank you. It all means so much. I... I... <sighs> I promised myself I wouldn't cry. Cry all you want, but not here. We just wax the floors. Something I mentioned at some point was that Dean's fried fish hey, flakes and flagging. flowers is referenced in uh, the SpongeBob movie game as well, as Miles is mentioning as well. Yes, what is it? I was just wondering why all the robots seem to be coming from inside the chum bucket. Have they? I really haven't noticed. Uh, yeah. And then there's that big flashing neon sign that says, Robot Headquarters. SpongeBob, I'm your friend, right? No, not really. Exactly. And as your non-friend, I worry about you. Like right now, you're thinking too much. I'm worried you might really hurt yourself. Tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna think for you. This way you won't hurt yourself, and you can just keep working on getting me into the chum bucket. Thanks, Plankton. You're the best non-friend a friend could have. No more thinking for me. Okay, so we can look around here for a few minutes, and then Let that'll probably be it. Oh. Bowl of bubble. Press this button, and you'll bowl a bubble that can knock down robots from a safe distance. Remember, though, the bubble bowl only works on things that are close to the ground. Got it. In this, in this playthrough, I might make more of a point to get the moves as soon as possible. Because, I mean, you just kind of want to have them. So, like, I got the bubble bowl now. Useful move. It shines. Oh, this this operates a little differently. So now the camera moves when you turn. You know, I'm good with that, honestly. Works for me. Flash, sponge wearing five pairs of underwear coming through. Fresh like a spring breeze. A floating block challenge. Okay, and we'll check out the police office in the tree dome. Anything interesting or new in here? There's some pictures of Bikini Bottom. Mm, doesn't seem like it. Seems about as it was before. Okay, so we'll do the tree dome. And then that should put us right at two hours. Sandy, your tree dome is leaking! Them there robots busted up the glass, SpongeBob! I got a treehouse chock full of robots and it's all your fault, so get in there and clean up your miss! Mm -hmm. 
All right, we got this. Fresh like a spring breeze. Also, I think there's just casually a new robot in here. All right, then. That's much better. I suppose you'll be needing this more than me. Yep, just as freaky looking in HD. Maybe even more. I feel like a new sponge. Um, it's not spinning. Oh, there it goes. <laughs> Little buggy, just a little bit. Let me let me clip under the tree dome. Okay. I'm not getting anything interesting to happen with that. Like the smell of bubbles in the morning. Smells like. Okay, so we are saved. Thank you for showing up. I appreciate your time. We will continue at a later date. Was Patrick always on the outside of the tree dome? Don't know. I don't know.